Hi everyone. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you just one of the reasons I call my channel Raccoon City Gun Club. This is the first of my Resident Evil guns, the Samurai Edge. I initially put this together about five or six years ago and created a couple of videos on the channel I'll Give You Stars. I've been having trouble recovering that account since Google doesn't hire actual human beings, so I've decided to make this channel and give you the update on this pistol and my other Resident Evil guns on here. So let's just start from the bottom and work our way up. The frame of this pistol is from an original Beretta 92F. Not the FS, just the plain old F. It's Italian made with a straight dust cover as opposed to the FS frame with the slanted dust cover like you can see here. Another awesome thing about the 92F frame is that there are no warning marks on the right side. It's nice and clean here, and it just really looks better than those modern Berettas that have all of the warning marks on the frame. I mean, they still look great, don't get me wrong. It's just, a, you know, this is a little cleaner for the whole Samurai Edge look. Next are the grips. These grips are my newer pair of Jill Samurai Edge grips with the light blue medallions. They're from an absolutely awesome place called Collector Design Works. I've been talking to the guy who runs it pretty regularly for a few years now, and he's simply the best Samurai Edge parts maker on the planet. Check him out. The grips require a flat hammer spring cap, uh, since they wrap around the bottom. While I was replacing that, I went ahead and put in a D hammer spring for a nice 9 pound double action pull and 5.5 and pound single action. I've also replaced the standard trigger spring with a wolf trigger conversion unit. It's fine and all, but now that I've purchased and used the LTT trigger job in a bag, I definitely recommend that entire overhaul compared to what I have on this pistol. Moving on to the slide, we have a few things to mention. First is the stainless steel guide rod. I also bought this from Wolf. It's a small thing, but it helps really pull the Samurai Edge look together. The barrel is also stainless steel. It's a match target barrel from Barstow. This one had to be custom fit by a local gunsmith. Not a necessary addition to the Samurai Edge, but I think it looks and performs a little better than the standard Beretta Enox barrel. And that's just my opinion though. The Enox still looks pretty good. The rear sight is also produced and sold by Collector Design Works. In my old video, I didn't have the sight because it didn't exist yet, and I was stoked more than anyone when CDW announced that he was creating it. Again, another small thing, but it really is the finishing touch on the Samurai Edge. Finally, of course, I have the Brigadier slide with the Samurai Edge engraving on it. The engraving and uh, added front serrations were done by Customized Creations in Michigan. While he isn't the only person offering the engraving in the US, he is still the one I trust the most to get the jo job done right. Just expect delays and long waits for responses sometimes. He, uh, Todd, the guy who runs it, is a one-man job. So, there you have it. This is my favorite gun in my collection. And that's saying something considering some of the awesome pieces I have. And that you guys will hopefully see soon. I'll show some range footage of this bad boy, but unfortunately I'll be using footage from my old video since it's negative 20 where I live right now, and the indoor range has the lighting of an underground cave. So, hope you enjoy. Alright, we got the Beretta 92F Samurai Edge, shooting 115 grain Winchester ammo. Right through the center. <laughs> 